Hi, my name is Carol Thomas and I just, I'm just sitting here and I said I just want to make this video about deadbeat dads. Not, not all men are deadbeats and sometimes these guys are deadbeats because we push them away. I'm talking from experience. I've had family members who I've seen women lied on them. I've had friends who have lied on their men and I told myself that it's not going to happen to me. When my relationship with my two girls father dissolved, I told myself that I'm not going to raise these children by myself and whatever it is, I'm going to maintain a great relationship with my ex because my ex would be fundamental in my girl's life. And that's what I said and that's what I do. And as a result of that, my girls are fabulous. Now, the story is this. Sometimes we women, we get very jealous and we use these children as bargaining chips. We do not answer the phone when these guys call. They ask, can we see your children? And we get attitude, no, you can't see your child. As if all 46 chromosomes are ours. But what we need to understand that it's not about us, it's about the children. So you may dislike this guy so much, like detest this guy so much, but the fact of the matter is that he's the father of your children and the children needs him. So do not chase them away. Try to maintain a great relationship with them. They're not good men. You don't want to be with them. Or whatever the reason is. You might not be the perfect woman at that point in time why the relationship did not work. However, it's not about you. And don't be selfish. Oh, I can't have him in my bed. So guess what? You're not going to have a dad. That's garbage. I can't have him in my bed. So you're not going to have him... At your graduation that's bulls I'm not gonna have him in my bed so you can come to my prize giving ceremony it's baloney we need to have an understanding that it's not about us ladies it's about the child and whenever we get that understanding we're gonna see significant changes in our society because some of the problems that we are facing now is a country is a result of fathers are not there and even though the fathers some fathers are not there willingly there are fathers that would have been there but they are hurting because they did not have father themselves and they were trying to be the best of father that they could be and we pushed them away because we became very selfish very revengeful when the relationship ended and then we talk about, oh, oh, he doesn't take care of his child. He doesn't support his child. Did you remember that you pushed him away? Do you remember how many weekends he came and you did not let that child out? Think about it. Do you remember how many phone card calls made and you did not respond? Do you remember how many cards he sent for birthday and you did not respond whether or not he got them? And now you're talking about his deadbeat? You tell me. You got to do better if you want better. So for those women out there who are planning on being horrific to their child's father, take it from me. It does not worth it. Financially, it doesn't pay off. Emotionally, it doesn't pay off. Psychologically, it does not pay off. I'm telling you, it's great when you maintain a good relationship with your dad. Guess what? The check rolls in. And guess what? You don't have to take them to court sometimes. I, didn't, I never took my, my ex to court. My daughter is 21 and she still gets her child support. And I've never taken him a day to court. I maintain a great relationship with him. If you want to catch fly, you have to use honey. You cannot catch fly with lemon juice. Women, if you want your children father to be supportive, 
you have to find a way to maintain an amicable and respectful relationship. Once again, I say, if you are trying to catch a fly, you cannot use lemon juice. You have to use honey. It's not about us. It's about our children, and we need that support. Thank you for listening, and you have a good night.